Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's Dandelion Lesson. So, I actually started to record this yesterday, and it was just too too soon for me. Um, I just, every time I would get going, I would start to cry. <laughs> and so, um, and, and I want to speak clearly right now. So, I, you know, it, it's just the, the world is a heavy, dark place right now um, in many ways. At the same time, I'm looking out my window at uh, my beautiful backyard. The sun is shining in the trees and the animals are, I mean, there's probably 11 deer, there's bunnies, there's chipmunks, there's squirrels, there's a f groundhog there, I mean, every butterflies and every kind of bird and the wood thrush is singing and the world is a beautiful place where I sit right now and I know I know that I am very privileged to sit here I don't always remember that there are days where I complain and whine and just like you know feel sorry for myself just like um just like humans do but I, I do know how privileged I am to sit here. And over the past several days, um, I've been keeping informed by reading the newspapers. I have seen a couple videos. I try, I try not to consume news through, through TV media, but um, sometimes you have to see things because um, it's important to see so that you can really understand. And I'm talking about um, today what, what the image that I cannot remove from my mind is George Floyd being murdered by a police officer. Um, a, a demon, really. Not, I mean, you say police, there are many good police officers, but this is just... Something that just happens, happens over and over again. And this, this demon police officer, someone who is supposed to protect and serve our communities, murdered him in front of us all. And was so calm. <laughs> and was, um, well, anyways, you've, you've certainly all seen it. I don't, I don't need to do that. So, you know, I, I, it's a tricky thing because um, I'm, I'm a person who I'm just naturally very uh, justice oriented. It's just how I am. I've talked about this before and um, I can be very opinionated and I, um, I feel things really deeply and I feel injustice really deeply from, from, insects to people and to the environment and to the world i feel the whole spectrum of it so if uh, you know if, if i see someone about to, to squash a bug or put a mouse trap i mean i'll, I'll intervene right <laughs> i'm just it's just I, I i can't explain it it's not good or bad it's just how i am and so i feel things really strongly and and there are some times where i i'm quiet about things because it's just you know you just know it's not going to help it's not going to change anybody's mind especially with politics I mean it's just such a silly thing and I do get worked up about it but in the end you're not going to change anybody's mind people have to wake up for themselves right but there are times when you cannot be silent and you have to speak up and acts like this against black men black women the black community, we have to speak up. We can't be silent about that. And, and speaking up means more than just saying things. It means 
it means a lot of things. It means working on our own um, prejudice, prejudice and our own racism and our own white supremacy because you cannot be a white person and not have some of that systemically in you. I'm not, and, and, and that in itself is not a bad thing. I mean, it's just, it's the way it's happened. But when we know better, we have to change it, right? We have to start changing it and we have to wake up because it's not getting better. You know, it's just, it's just not getting better. And so I am not an expert on this. I screw up all the time, surely. Um, but it's up to us. It, it, it's not up to our black friends. It's not up to you know anybody but ourselves. We have to wake up and educate ourselves and learn to, to look at ourselves really clearly, right? I mean, really clearly. And there are helpful tools out there. I mean, there are several books that, that I've read. Actually, I've read two books. I shouldn't say several. I've read two books. And one of them is available on the internet. I mean, if you want to know them, um, I can tell you. You know, I, I don't want to butcher the name. One's by Leila Assad. And the other, I can't, I don't think I could say the name if I tried without butchering it. So if you want the names, you can message me. I shared one on my Instagram stories yesterday, but it might be gone now. Um, these books are really helpful. There are also many um, Instagram accounts that you can follow that I follow that um, are run by really warm, wonderful people who are trying um, trying to help us understand how um, pervasive racism is in America and the world. So um, anywhere that's been colonized, right, which is pretty much the world. So I, you know, I, I, I couldn't not mention this because it is all that is in my heart right now. It's just, it's... It feels unbearable for me sometimes, so I can't even imagine what it feels like for a person of color. I can't, I mean, I really, I really, I have no way of knowing that, but I know that I have to, I have to show up and, and, and not be silent about it and do the work on myself and teach my children and my grandchildren and be aware. And when I see things, call it out. And I've done it. I've done it. It's pervasive here. <laughs> we have we have quite a bit of it where I live. But um, yeah, so I just, I, I had to mention it, but I, it's up to each of us as individuals, right? I'm not an expert. I'm doing my own work, and I'm just asking you to consider um, doing your own. So I picked a card. I, I also, I, you know, I wanted to show you this. <laughs> my daughter came over yesterday and gave me this for my birthday. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but it's this beautiful photo book. And of, of the things that the people, the treasures I love most in the world. And... Um, you know, my son, my daughter, my grandchildren, and these people are worth, um, they, you know, we have to educate all of ourselves. We have to raise good people, right? We have to, so like, like Layla says, we have to be good ancestors. We have to, to, to live in, in the right side of justice, and we have to pass that on. <sighs> So, um, and it's work, it's work every day because it's just, oh, I'm not an expert, but it's worth doing the work. So I drew a soul card today and um, I loved it because it felt like so many things. It felt like stop, it felt like enough, it felt like, God, I feel this so deeply. It felt like joining together as one people, right? It felt like leaning on each other and finding a way to make things better. It felt like we're all the same. We're all the same. We're all the same. And yet we're all so different. Right? 
I, I just, you can look at it yourself and, and feel what you feel, but it was a perfect card for me this morning. So I thought I would just paint and I have no idea what I'm going to paint, but um, I never do. <laughs> so that's just the way it is um, with these standalone lessons. But I hope um, you don't even have to share your thoughts about this. This is a very, um, you can, you can share your thoughts about it, but it, it's a very, um, personal thing and yet it's a thing we have to talk out loud about we have to speak about it out loud and and we'll screw up you know we'll say the wrong things we'll do the wrong things but we're learning and we got to keep trying right it's just they, I think a lot of times people are afraid to say something because they're afraid to say the wrong thing and I think um if we say the wrong thing and we learn it's the wrong thing then we learn right we learn what a better thing is. Okay. I put my chop on, um, yeah. So I don't have too much more to say. Um, but 
you know, I think I'll just put the names of the books and, and Instagram accounts that I follow uh, in the comments. Um, and then you're free to, to check them out if you want to. Um, that way, I mean, I hope, I hope everyone does, but um, it's up to us, you know, it's up to us as individuals. And to support one another and to remind one another and um, to share, to share our stories, to talk about things, to speak about it out loud instead of just feeling it and letting it go on without, um, without interrupting the cycle by speaking about it and doing the work. Peace.